Welcome to Real Recaps Express, Retro, your ultimate destination for nostalgic recap videos of your beloved movies. Today, we'll dive into the movie Gigi released in 1982. If you're ready, let's get started. In a forested area overlooking a sprawling suburban neighborhood, an alien spacecraft lands. The creatures aboard come to observe and collect specimens. One of them wanders some distance away when strange lights and sounds cause him to hide. The group of men is led by one who has a jingling set of keys attached to a belt loop. Scared, the creature takes off running, with the men in pursuit. The creature attempts to get back to his spaceship, but it leaves without him. Eventually, it makes its way down an embankment into the suburban housing development below. In one house, a young boy named Elliot is sent out to pick up a pizza being delivered for his brother Michael and his friends. Elliot is about to return inside when a strange noise in the backyard catches his ears. Elliot traces the noise to a gardening shed in the backyard. Elliot throws a baseball into the shed, and is scared when something in the shed throws it back out. Elliot rushes inside to tell everyone, and they all come out to investigate but find nothing in the shed, except for some strange prints, which Michael assumes must belong to some type of coyote from the nearby woods. Later that evening, Elliot hears some noise outside in the backyard and goes outside. He encounters a strange creature that scares them both. The creature quickly leaves the backyard through a nearby gate that leads into the woods. The next day, Elliot goes out on his bike to the forest, taking a bag of Reese's pieces with him, hoping to find the creature he saw. He soon sees the man with the keys on his belt loop and quickly leaves the forested area. That evening, Elliot gets into an argument with his family when it seems that no one believes him. Elliot claims that his dad would believe him. As their mother has just been through a messy divorce, this causes her feelings to be hurt, with Michael angrily chastising his brother for being cruel. Later that evening, Elliot stays outside, where this time, the creature comes right up to him and returns some of the Reese's pieces that were in the forest. Elliot then lures the creature into the house and up to his room. When he finally sees the creature in full, it is a strange brown-colored being that is like nothing he's ever seen before. The creature has a gentle nature and seems as curious about Elliot as the boy is about it. Elliot fakes having a fever the next day to stay home from school. During the day, he acclimates himself to the creature and tells him his name, as well as shows him different things around the house. Later that evening, Elliot shows the creature to Michael and their younger sister Gertie, who both promise not to tell anyone about him they quickly realize that this thing seems to be an alien. They ask him where he's from, but instead of explaining, the creature shows its powers. It makes some spheres float and spin like planets in the solar system. Gertie gives the alien a dying potted plant, and it magically brings the flowers back to life. The next day, Elliot hides the alien in his closet while everyone goes to school. When they're all gone, the alien sneaks out, raids the fridge, drinks some beers, and watches TV. Unbeknownst to Elliot, the alien forms a mental connection with him. This connection causes chaos in Elliot's science class, where he releases frogs for a dissection project and kisses a blonde girl. When Elliot returns home, Gertie has taught the alien to talk, and they decide to name it Edet -E tries to explain that it wants to build a machine to contact its home planet. Later that evening, Elliot and his brother Michael search the garage for items to help E.T. Michael notices that E.T. doesn't look well, but Elliot insists that they're fine. Little do they know that a van outside is monitoring their conversation. On Halloween, Elliot and Michael dress E.T. as a ghost and pass him off as Gertie. They meet Gertie at a specific spot, and she switches places with E.T. Elliot and E.T. head to assemble and activate the communication device E.T. built. As they ride through the forest, E. perched in a basket on the handlebars, Elliot's bike suddenly speeds downhill towards a cliff. Elliot panics, but E.T. uses an unknown ability to make the bike fly safely over the precipice. They assemble and activate the device, sending a signal into space. Exhausted, Elliot falls asleep, and E.T. watches over him. When Elliot wakes up the next day in the woods, E.T. is nowhere to be found. He returns home, and his mother is worried sick. Elliot begs Michael to find E.T. Michael searches the forest and eventually finds E.T. near a storm drain, pale pink and barely breathing, they bring E.T. home, and their mother is shocked to see E.T. in such a dire condition. Elliot explains that they are both sick and may be dying. The mother panics and wants them to leave, but people in space suits and government agents arrive, sealing off the house and setting up a medical unit to help Elliot and E.T. A man named Keys, with keys on his belt loop, 
reappears. He tells Elliot that they found the communication device and wants to know how to save E.T. Keys shares his lifelong dream of encountering aliens. Weekly, Elliot explains that E.T. needs to go home. As they talk, E.T. detaches from Elliot and succumbs to illness, leaving Elliot to recover. Michael realizes this when the plants E.T. revived start to wither and die. The medical team is trying to revive E.T., but he eventually dies. Before they take E.T. away, Keyes allows Elliot some time alone with E.T. Elliot is explaining that E.T. must be dead because he can't feel anything anymore. Elliot tells E.T. that he loves him and turns away. As he does so, he sees the flowers that were dying before are returning to life. Elliot goes back to the container where E.T. is and finds him alive. He explains that his planet's people will be returning to get him. Elliot manages to hide the fact that E.T. is alive and then hatches a plan with Michael to get him to the forest. Michael has his friends take Elliot's bike and theirs to a playground at the top of a nearby hill. Meanwhile, Michael and Elliot steal the van with E.T.'s container and make their way to the playground. Meeting Michael's friends there, they then take E.T. and head for the forest. The government agents are chasing them. As they race away, they see a roadblock ahead, armed agents waiting around the cars. Just as it seems they'll all be captured, E.T. levitates all the kids' bikes, and they fly off toward the woods, as they land, and night settles, E.T.'s ship lands. Elliot's mother and Gertie show up shortly afterward, and Gertie and Michael say their goodbyes before it's Elliot's turn. E.T. asks Elliot to come with him, but Elliot says he has to stay. E.T. gives his new friend a hug and then lights his finger and points it at Elliot's head, telling Elliot that he'll be right here. Gertie gives E.T. the plant she initially gave him, and he goes into the enormous ship, which soon lifts off, leaving a rainbow behind as everyone stares off into the sky and the movie ends here. If you enjoyed the content please don't forget to like and subscribe, see you in the next one.